We've got about 45 people turning up today at this property Lewisham which is just south of Campbelltown to look at some pasture renovation trials we're doing here and we're looking at a number of different machines, two strip till and, and two direct drill machines. So we had a homemade machine by the Baxter's family, this is a strip till machine. We also had a machine called the Saw Key Renovator which is also a strip till machine. The Novag T-Force Plus and Allen's HD 4.8 triple disc drills and we compare these different machines with the different treatments. Each of these machines presents some great minimum till options for pasture renovation. The trial will potentially demonstrate options that can reduce establishment risks and improve the protection of soils in a changing climate. We're actually using a autumn winter forage crop to be able to control some weeds before we go into that permanent pasture again. We're also looking at three different pasture mixes, so one based on grass, rye corn, oats and short-term ryegrass, and, and that allows us to use a broadleaf herbicide over the top to control any broadleaf weeds that might come up during winter before sowing down again. The second mix is just a straight uh, turnip, so we can use some grass selective herbicides if, if we've got trouble with grass weeds here. And then the third mix is a regen or multi-species mix that pretty much goes as it is and then no herbicide uh, used during the gap. The third thing we're looking at is also um, a herbicide application up front to just knock everything out that's there versus a just keep keeping whatever pasture is there. If we're not using the herbicide you've got that existing pasture so if nothing comes up you've potentially still got the degraded pasture you have. What we're trying to move away from in this regard is full cultivation where, or, or full wipeout of the pasture where if it does fail you've pretty much got nothing left and you need to resell and start again. Whereas in this instance we're looking at different ways of trying to reduce that risk. Historically we had sort of more regular rainfall throughout the year. Now we're seeing that we get a lot of our rainfall at certain times and then we go into quite long periods of dry spells. For us being involved, it's really about improving our old perennial pastures, thickening them up without using a lot of chemical and spraying them out so that we can have more stock feed during those times.